Welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up With Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, a.k.a. Kia The Crafter. And we are here today with another resin project, a resin notebook. But this is a different one. This is the little bitty one. Well, not the little bitty one, but the little one, okay? So I'm going to take you down so we can get started. But before we do, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give me some thumbs up. If you like the videos, comment, let me know. I love to hear your comments, love to see your comments and respond to what you have to say or ask. Okay, I've took you down. This is my first time doing the small, this is the 6A. So as y'all can see, it's about like palm, about as big as my hand. Okay, this is a 6A. This is what I would call the medium. This is the 5A. And then, you know, they have the large. So this is my first time doing the small one. And so what I've did is mixed up three ounces of resin. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my colorants in. I want to do this yellow because I just like yellow. I like the color yellow. I did one in yellow and I love the way it turned out. So I want to do this one in yellow as well. So I have my clear yellow here. And then I want to do an opaque yellow. Okay. And so I have my clear yellow nice and clear there. But what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go ahead and add some um, glitters and stuff to it. Because that's going to be like that. So let me find some glitter I want to add to it. I want to do my yellow butterflies in there. Do a couple of them. Okay, falling all over the place. And we're going to use some of this iridescent um, fine glitter in that, in that mix. And then let me tap them little butterflies up in there. And then I want to use a bright yellow mix in there. We'll throw that in there. Give it a little pop. This clear is going to be everything. We'll put some of that in there. And I think that's going to be our mixture so we got the the butterflies the um fine glitter and then we have our oh okay that's looking that's looking yellow <laughs> okay and glittery Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put our white in this other one. To make it opaque. So what I'm going to do is use my acrylic paint. Put a dab of acrylic paint in there. And then I'm going to put a dab of alcohol ink in there and then that's going to make that yellow opaque I'm gonna mix that up in there and that's going to give me that nice pretty golden yellow color i made a large one i did a video making a large one this color it came out so pretty and cute and so i said why not yellow is such a fun color it's a vibrant color, so why not? All right, so we got our yellow. It's like a buttery, buttercream, soft, pretty yellow. We got that. We can go ahead and put our ingredients to the side. 
we're going to get ready to pour her out and this is a small mold so I don't think it's going to need a whole lot of it so I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and full and covered And I, probably, I'm, I think I'm going to do a few of these just to have and sell. I think they'll probably sell quicker than the bigger ones. Especially due to the price and the size, but we're going to see. I'm hoping that they do. We got a pop-up coming up on the 26th of March. So... And I think I'm going to record it because somebody asked me in the comments on one of my videos, do I ever record my pop-ups? And so, yeah, I think I will be recording my setup and, and everything just so that you guys can see um, how to work your business, work your art, pretty much. This is cute. And then I might do one with the pink. Do one in pink. Next. And do a multicolor one. Let me move this yellow out of the way. But this is cute. It's fun looking. And definitely um, bright and vibrant. So we'll have a lot of videos coming because we got a lot of stuff to make and mostly I'll be doing videos to, for everything. <laughs> That's just normally how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to empty out the rest of this yellow. And then we're going to start merging them together. I'm going to start merging the colors together. And I'm strategically placing this because my glitter has already started moving. So three ounces, and then you probably is only gonna need no, you probably only gonna need about. I'm gonna mirror that down. Four ounces total because you only going this is per three ounces is, is enough to give you a nice um, balance here and so I always like to do little you know little ideas in it just to kind of merge them together Swirling 
and we'll throw some wording and whatnot. But this is um, this is three ounces, and it's it's pretty full. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty full. And so I can turn it this way, which I, I kind of like it that way too, because my table is 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 weird the way the house I guess the house is. I, that's how I learned that my house was just a little uneven, and so that'll push it downward. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my cups. And this is gonna be our first one now. You probably, I probably won't need nothing but another ounce or ounce and a half to cover. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just to cover it because it's pretty full now. If I want to put some wording on there just to cover the wording. So you can do two ounces at a time and be good. So three ounces, maybe a bit much for the first part i would do two so on the next one i'm gonna try that i'm gonna try to do two ounces at a time it still shouldn't take more than four ounces to four and a half ounces to complete this small journal which is cool because if you're making the small ones you're not using a lot of resin and so that's always good And you can sell them for a reasonable price because they're smaller. So it just may work out all the way around. So I'm just cleaning up everything, letting that sit, letting the bubbles come to the surface. Take my trusty torch and hit it, smooth it out. And I'll just look at it against the light and that'll show me um, what all needs to be, where to hit it. And I'm just keeping my fire moving back and forth. Do not let it sit in one spot too long. The fine glitter, you will see that. And see, that's what I'm saying. This is full. So again, you probably can get away with three ounces um, at a time. I mean, for a full gallon. This was my first time, so I just kind of calculated for it. Um, but this is... Um, yeah, I'm not going to need much. I can just paint a layer on it and that that would be great. Cuz it's pretty full now. Let this sit. I'm gonna put it in the oven, let it cook, and we're gonna move on to the next segment. I don't even know what I'm gonna put on there. I think I have an idea, but I'm not quite sure yet. So this thing likes to go. It likes to go. It do not like to shut off. Okay. So we're going to put this in the resin oven and then we'll come back and finish up, put some lettering on it, top coat, put it all together. Sit tight. All right, guys. So we are back with our small um, journals here. We're going to go ahead and put our wording in there. I've already um, pre-cut what I wanted it to say. 
and I have my backing here which is like an iridescent um, yellow and it says my sweet thoughts because I have this little idea I have so many little stickers and embellishments that I just do not use them all so I figure I will use it for this project This project. Oops, my S did not stick down. Okay. And it just says my sweet thoughts. And then I'm gonna embellish it with my little candy stickers here. just gonna play some throughout maybe one right there and we're gonna do color colorful ones I can get them up them just place them throughout because that's just what it is a little little candy situation so I'm just gonna put my little candies all over Nice little contrast of color would be this purple. And um, yeah, I think that's really, really cute. Um, that's pretty much it. It has the little candies all over it. I think you can see it better that way. And then I'll put just a cute little red one on the back of here. Just to kind of make it, you know, kind of just go together. A little symmetry, little whatnots. And I like this. Um, let me see what color would be cute. I think that purple. Kind of like like that or like that. that. Yep. And then that's it. Cute little. journal for your little thoughts and whatnot. And as always, we got the logo our um, work. So I have my little logo sticker here. It's about an ounce, maybe about an ounce of resin. I don't know where my little small crafty, little small, I got another small pair. I don't like to use them big ones for that. They a little bit too big. That's cute though.
And that's it. And I think that's going to be real cute. Cute little, you know, for somebody. Little sweet, little sweetheart, sweet little girl. So we're going to go ahead and put our top coat on. And then we're going to let that sit and it will be ready. Okay. Hold tight while I mix up some resin. All right, guys. We are back to finish up the top layer on our small 6A resin binder. I am mixing up the top coat which is roughly about four ounces is what I have here because I'm going to top coat another project real quick but we are probably going to use try to use about an ounce of resin to coat the top of this okay so I'll use about an ounce making sure I'm scraping along the sides make sure when you are mixing your resin you are scraping along the sides now this is a different resin than what I use to pour so we gonna hopefully it'll stick to it and we won't have any issues I'm just trying to get rid of some of the resin so this particular brand is the electro tech light I had a little bit of this left about I want to say about six ounces to four ounces left so we're gonna try to get rid of it before we get into our gallons that finally came in the mail finally got them and we'll be doing a lot of projects because again we got a show coming up and so which i'll be trying to record that as well so i have this mixed up pretty good i think um been mixing it for quite a minute here so we're gonna go ahead and just pour a nice thin layer on top hold tight all right so we're gonna go ahead and pour the top coat on I didn't have my apron on so I have to go put that on real quick and I'm just gonna pour a thin layer on top Shouldn't take much because just to coat everything in, so I'm just making sure it's covering the entire project along coming all the way up, moving the resin up along the edges. <clears throat> and even though it don't seem like I poured much I don't think I need to pour maybe anymore I probably don't need to pour anymore because once this level out it's, it's gonna, it look like it's going to be fine So I'm just smoothing it across, making sure everything is covered and filled. There's no voided spots. That looks really good. So that didn't take much. And so I'm going to turn it just so that it can flow in a different direction. Because as we know, if you have been here with me, my table just a little bit wopsided. Well, it's not wopsided. It's just it's a little uneven, and I've I've learned that by doing resin, that <clears throat> if it cures, if I don't turn it or move it onto a flatter surface, it'll cure one sided. Well, one side will be a little bit. It'll be uneven per se. So I try to make sure that I'm aware of that part. 
And I just turn it a few times until I place it on my breakfast nook or, e or <clears throat> either in the resin dryer. And that just kind of um, levels it out pretty good for me. Again, this is a different resin. I had this left over, so I'm trying to use it. I had it, <clears throat> and it's been sitting for a minute, so I was like, why not use it for this? I have another project I need to coat. I'm going to use the remaining of it on that, so I'm not going <clears> to <throat> take up a lot of time with this. But I really want to get some of these made, because I think these might do um, better than the journals. Just because they're small, they'll be they will be a little bit more inexpensive, easier for people to support. You know, we in a time people like is real crucial. I just want to appeal to everyone that comes to my table. I got something for you that you can take away and it be functional, cute, fun, and you just real happy with your purchase. That's my goal. And you'll reach out when you think of something. I want to have something personally made. They'll, you know, want to reach out and have me personally make some stuff for them. So that's really, uh -oh. that's really the concept. And this, this gonna, I'm gonna put just a little bit more on this one because it can use it. Bring it up to the edges. And then once this cure, we'll do another one. Because I only have one set. So I can only do one of the smaller ones at a time until I can get some extra money or make some sales. And then I'll buy another set. Or if someone donate to the channel. And then I can make two. Oops, I can make, yeah, make a couple at a time. These can also be used, used as little gifts if you just kind of want to spend maybe $25 on your um, event per person. I, that's what I would sell them for, depending on what you put inside of it, because that matters too. And I'm turning it this way because it just seems like it's a little... You need a little bit of resin there. To make sure that that's evened out. Okay. Alright. And we got a little bit left. To finish up our other situation. And I'm checking it against the light. Everything is nice. No overages. No running over anything. So we're going to go ahead and knock the bubbles out. And get it into the resin heater and let that cure so that we can get another one poured. So I want to do at least maybe four, maybe four of them. That's cute. Okay. All right. All right. So stick with me. We're going to come back. Once they cure, demo, put some paper on them so you guys can see the complete project. Okay. So sit tight. <laughs> 